Unload the leveler from the truck. Pit levelers can be handled in one of three ways. One, a chain sling can be used by hooking the chain into the holes on either side of the leveler. Two, by using the fork slots on the front of the leveler. Three, fork slots at the rear of the leveler. Immediately upon receipt of the unit, visually inspect the leveler for possible damage or missing parts. If damaged or missing parts are noted, have the carrier personnel sign the bill of lading as damaged or that parts are missing. If necessary, prepare a claim against the carrier. Prior to installation, clean the dock area. Clean out the pit itself so the debris will not interfere with the pit leveler installation. Verify the width, depth, and length of the pit itself. If the pit depth is too shallow, it will be necessary to chip out the floor slightly so that the leveler will sit at the proper height, allowing the rear of the leveler to be flush with the floor of the dock. Either pre-place the shims in the pit or put the leveler in the pit and shim afterwards. If you pre-place the shims in the pit, refer to the owner's manual as to where the shim packs should be located for your particular leveler. Position the leveler directly in front of the dock and slowly maneuver it into the pit, being careful not to drag it along one side or wedge it between the pit walls. It is helpful to have an assistant give direction from the dock floor. Once the leveler is completely in the pit, use the forklift to carefully push the leveler tied up against the back wall. Be sure to allow one inch equal clearance between the leveler sides and the pit walls. The levelers are shipped banded closed with the lip in the lip keepers. Cut the restraining band from the lip and completely remove the band from the leveler. Mechanical levelers will raise slightly due to the tension on the springs. If the shim packs were pre-placed, verify that they are the correct height. The rear angle and the deck of the leveler should be flush with the dock floor. Note that the shim packs should be placed properly under each of the rear uprights and both lip keepers at the front of the board. Although installers may sometimes shim under the ratchet, also known as the hold down, this is unnecessary. Weld the rear of the leveler to the embedded curb angle. Weld the center first and then the ends. Finish this step after the shims are welded in place. Raise the leveler by pulling and holding the ring in the rear of the deck. Hold the chain until the lip fully extends and locks in place. Put the maintenance strut in place. At this point the shim packs must be welded together. First, securely weld the front shim packs to both the base frame and the embedded curb angle. This is especially important on mechanical levelers because the upward motion of the leveler is stopped by the snubber spring which is attached to the base frame. If the base frame is not welded down, then the frame will rise under the tension of the snubber ring and the leveler will not operate correctly. Securely bolt and or weld the dock bumpers to the dock face as close to the pit opening as possible. The bumper should be flush with the dock floor or 48 inches off the ground. Raised bumpers should be supported to the floor from behind. Complete the weld at the rear of the leveler. Skip weld to cover approximately 50% of the length of the rear angle. Ensure that the welds are placed directly behind the rear frame uprights and at the ends of the angle. After the final adjustment, operate the unit several times just to make sure that everything is functional. As a final touch, spray paint the welds and any other areas that may need to be touched up due to the installation process.